Hi everyone, oh my goodness, it has been a long time. Yep. And uh, yeah, if, uh, well. if you've been, <laughs> it's been so long we forgot how to do it. <laughs> okay, well, hello everyone. And for those that are new, I'm Ken, a research scientist and founder of C60 Purple Power. And I'm Sierra, a recently certified functional nutrition counselor. If you're back and you've been on our show before, welcome back. Uh, and uh, we're so excited to be here with you guys today. We're going to focus on answering all of your questions because while we were away, we kept receiving lots of questions. So we've got some catching up to do. So please put your questions in the chat. If you have any questions about the C60 research or any anything you read out there online about C60, we are totally ready to tackle that today. Um, and you know, we love to talk about science. Ken's a scientist. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, let's get started with some questions, shall we? But first, uh, all opinions expressed in our show today are for informational purposes only and are not a substitute for professional medical advice. Please seek advice from your doctor or other qualified healthcare practitioner. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease, and individual results may vary. All right, let's get to start with a few questions from our newsletter subscribers. Oh, <sighs> I hope you guys could hear me. Yeah, we're really out of practice, but we're, we're so glad to be back and we'll, we'll get there. I forgot to put the microphone in front of my face. <laughs> it's still pretty good. <laughs> okay, hopefully you guys could hear me. Um, let me just confirm really quick that from Chris that we're live. There you are. He says, yes, good, okay. good, good. We're making sure all the, the tech works now again. I literally had to like relearn some things. So bear with me, folks. <laughs> all right, let's start with Paulette. Good morning, Ken. I received your C60 about the third week into it. I have AMD, which is what is AMD? It stands for macular degeneration, yes. right? Okay, uh, which is turning apparently, they say into source B condition leading to blindness. I'm only 62 flipping years old. I've kept this so far at bay from doing some out of the box thinking. Anyway, I sure hope this stuff is gonna work. Uh, I would like to know if there are any other tips I need to know of how to improve this condition. So first of all, we have to say, we don't give medical advice on the show. So there's some things we can't answer. There's some things we can't yes. talk about, but what we can talk about is our own experience. Um, but we can't really address like actual diseases and things like that. But Ken, what do you want to say about? Well, this? And, and the thing is that, uh, of course, you know, probably people have heard how my dry macular degeneration or Drew's went away. And I've had friends and other people, the same thing happened because, you know, C60 is an SOD mimic that superoxide dismutase. And that's pretty much the key antioxidant in the mitochondria. And nerve cells are full of mitochondria. So once you take C60, it reactivates the mitochondria in your nerve cells. And of course, the mitochondria provide ATP, the energy powerhouse for the cell. And they also provide things like pregnenolone, which is a precursor molecule for the hormones. And they provide various uh, inputs for DNA and RNA synthesis. So when your mitochondria are functioning correctly, then all kinds of good things could happen. And in my case, my macular degeneration went away. Right, so C60 doesn't actually cure anything. It just lifts the oxidative burden so that your mitochondria can start functioning, your ATP production, your energy production and the cells start working again. And then your body actually has the energy uh, to heal itself because it's not dealing with that huge oxidative burden, which by the way, in today's day and age, we have to deal with. Uh, and also as you're aging, you have to deal with even higher levels of that because your antioxidant production declines. And you know some of the antioxidants we get from our food, but some of them our body has to make in the cells. And uh, you know, as your production declines, you're gonna even have more accelerated aging as a result of that oxidative stress. So it's just, it does one thing, but it does it really, really well. So we're excited to share information with you today. But I think at this point, people probably even know how to answer the questions. Okay. Maybe the part of why this show is so popular is because they already know and they're like chiming yeah. in like on Family Feud going, I know the answer to this one. And raise your hand in the comments. Let us know if you think you know the answer to the next question, which is from, uh, oh, I don't know, oh, Tara. 
Uh, is C60 compatible with drinking hydrogen water and can C60 help with dementia? Uh, C60 is uh, compatible with hydrogen water. In fact, hydrogen water, it's like uh, it uh, increases the efficiency of C60 because C60 likes hydrogen gas, so it sticks to it. So the hydrogen gas just won't go away. It kind of sticks to the C60 and then C60 gradually releases it. So yes. And uh, yes, in scientific studies with mice, C60 completely prevented the occurrence of cognitive, cognitive decline. And because C60 works at the cellular level, you know, the difference between the cells in a mouse or a person are pretty insignificant. Right. Uh, let's see. Also, something I wanted to say about the hydrogen. You can also get hydrogen from like apples and fiber and fresh fruits and vegetables, right? Yeah, certain, yeah, certain fibers, especially <laughs> apple fibers, as they break down in your gut, uh, produce hydrogen gas. And that's one of the reasons why fibers is, fiber is good for you. And that's how kind of like C60, C60 uses hydrogen in the yeah. process of neutralizing free radicals. So some people take the hydrogen in order to like ramp up the C60. I guess it works really well. Um, I don't find that I need to do that <laughs> because I eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. But let's see. Next one's from Rob. I'm 51 years old. I got stem cell injections in my knees about a year ago. He wants to know if he can apply it topically to help with his knees and things like that. Um, and the answer is yes, you can okay. apply it topically. And uh, now for arthritis, let's say in your hands or something, you can get you know relief when you rub it on because it's thin, but you know the knees are pretty deep. So a lot of, we found people that use DMSO, which is a safe kind of natural solvent can drive it deeper into your knees. So mm. we have some of the customers have found really good relief with that. They put the C60 and DMSO together and it just goes right in. All right, and can you put it on your skin for skin conditions? Oh, absolutely. It, it does wonders. And one of the things that, especially if you've got the MCT coconut oil, because MCT medium chain, tri chain triglycerides are just uh, hell on fungi and bacteria. So, uh, and we won't bother our cells because we have cell membranes, but uh, fungi and bacteria have cell walls and MCT really just kind of goes through the cell walls and, and wrecks them up. So yeah, if you got like fungal conditions, MCT oil with, with or without C60 does a great job on it. Uh, does C60 detox glyphosate? Well, C60 doesn't really detox anything. What C60 lists the oxidative burden as glyphosate breaks down, it produces a lot of oxidative radicals. And then C60 can neutralize those oxidative radicals. I guess you could use apple cider vinegar to help cleanse with the glyphosate. There's even a video all about that in the C60 Health Connection show. So definitely check the playlist there. there it's a recent quick clip that you can check out. Yeah, because one of the problems with the glyphosate is that it, it does mess with humans, but it also messes with your gut biome. Oh, yes. Which and then sets that off. So uh, if you are exposed to glyphosates on a regular basis, a uh, good probiotic could help uh, restore a soil based probiotic can help restore uh, some of the functionality in your gut biome. The next one is about oxidative stress. I'm suffering from extreme right. oxidative stress. How long will it take for C60 to show any effect in urine tests? Oh, you'll notice immediately. We, you're probably talking about the aldehyde test. And uh, we've had people use the aldehyde test and within two or three days, their aldehyde levels will drop like two or three points. They'll drop from like fours to ones or threes to zeros. So yeah, you'll definitely notice it. Just two or three days, you'll be able to see the difference in your aldehyde test. What is the best time of day to take C60? In the morning, that's the best time. C60, I think this will answer another question we saw earlier or later, we'll see, uh, is uh, it kind of gets those mitochondria ramped up and the hormones start flowing, the pregnenolone and everything kind of get, gets going. So if you take it late at night, it can keep you up. So it's best to take it, you know, between morning to noon. Definitely. Uh, you don't have to take it with food, but you can take it with food is the next question. Um, you can take it before you've eaten. I just personally take all my supplements after I've eaten. So I just do that. But, you know, it really is up to you. Either way, it's going to work just fine. Yeah, because another thing is when you take the oils, uh, C60 is always dissolved in oil. So if you take your vitamins along with C60 with a little bit of food, the oils help you allow uh, you to uh, digest things like vitamin E. And I think vitamin A, the oils help the digestion of that. So taken okay. together, it all works good. I like to take mine with lemon water because that also helps break down the oil. A yes, bit. and smaller droplets. Um, all right. And then he wants to know, John wants to know if he can put in his bulletproof coffee. Absolutely. In fact, if we, I don't know if we have an example of our little packets around here, but we have, uh, I think they're, they're hit miss. Yep, yep, yep. We have a blank full of packet. Yeah, we actually have these, uh, we now sell a thing, 30 packets. That's a daily 
uh, C60 in coconut oil. And a lot of people just keep that package, just open it up, put it in your coffee, and you've got paleo coffee. So uh, yep. that's... it's one teaspoon and there's 30 in a box. Yep. So it's really convenient. If you want to get some, you can go to shopc60.com. We'll put a link in the description below. Um, can I use it as an eye drop? Uh, generally, if you want to do that, you want to use the MCT oil because that's really a distillate of coconut oil. It doesn't really taste or smell anything. And so it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have other phenols in it. So that would probably be the best one to use. You wouldn't want to use, for instance, uh, extra virgin avocado oil. That would probably hurt. So, yeah. So probably if you're going to do that, use the MCT version. Hi, uh, this one is from Richard. For those who train hard past 40 or even 60, does C60 boost testosterone for muscle building or can it be enhanced even more with herbal testosterone boosters? You have mentioned it boosts progesterone, which makes testosterone. Also, does C60 help moderate stress on the adrenal glands? Oh yeah, C60 definitely does. Because one of the things, C60 starts up the mitochondria again, which make pregnenolone. And then the pregnenolone can be turned into anything. And like in the, in the uh, adrenals, it turns into androgens, which then are exported through the bloodstream to the various organs. And, they, and then it can be turned into testosterone or estrogen or progesterone at that point. And the other thing about C60 is, uh, especially the MCT oil, if you're an athlete, because the MCT will turn into, uh, tr instant, will turn into ketones, which are instant fuel energy source for it. And then C60 is known to reduce lactic acid buildup. So you'll be able to run farther, uh, run farther, lift more, or whatever your athletic endeavor is. And of course, yeah, and, and since you have more pregnenolone, you'll also be able to make more testosterone. And you won't get, especially that's a good thing because we have, there's a thing called the pregnenolone steel. Is like if, if, your adrenal, if you're really under stress and you're a little bit older and your adrenals aren't making so much pregnenolone, it gets used up in the cortisol. And so you don't have uh, enough for all the other things, the mineral corticoids, the glutocorticoids, right. the androgens. You know, you don't have enough for that and you start lacking. Well, when you take C60, now you get enough pregnenolone and you can get all the things you need instead of just one or two hormones. That's great. And yeah, to speak to the adrenals real quick, um, when you are under stress, your body increases the output of that cortisol. Well, the process of creating, it's called steroid genesis. The process of creating that hormone causes a ton of oxidative stress. So imagine that as you're stressed out, your mitochondria are gonna get overwhelmed with this oxidative stress, they're gonna slow down. And then what happens is you get this adrenal fatigue. All right, this one is from Danielle. Uh, she says, I've just been diagnosed with giant cell arteritis and the treatment will suppress my immune system. I'm wondering if C increasing C60 will help with that and some of the side effects of large dose prednisone. Have you uh, heard of any research on C60 use with this condition and or cortisone long term use? I can speak to the prednisone part because I take that. I actually I don't take prednisone anymore. I take hydrocortisone and I take it every day because I have uh addison's which is adrenal failure so so i know a lot about that whole adrenal thing um but i'd say it does not interfere with the prednisone in fact i think it helps me with my energy levels overall and keeps me from having to do extra doses because when you're when you have addison's if you're under a stressful situation you have to updose uh, because your body would normally make cortisol, but my body doesn't. So therefore I would have to take extra. I haven't had to do that in a long time. So I feel like my need for cortisol is a little bit less, which is nice. Well, that's good. Now there's certain things um, like you should avoid if you're taking cortisol. Like if your body's not making cortisol for some reason and you're taking cortisol, you probably should avoid coffee because it actually, it eats up all your cortisol basically. Whereas green tea helps actually helps you absorb the cortisol better and need less. So that's kind of interesting. Like I've switched to green tea for that reason. It really is amazing the difference, so. Yeah, and one of the things C60 supports the immune system. And part of that is basically when C60 is taken up by immune cells, it, uh, it may, optimizes the function of their mitochondria and various other cellular processes so they can do their job better. So yeah, that would, C60 is known to strengthen the immune system. Mm -hmm. And also because of the uh, pregnenol, uh, well, the production, the, the stem cells yeah. Yeah, the, help with the production oh, yeah. of the immune cells. Yeah, one of the things, yeah, C60 wipes out senescent cells, which are zombie cells, and then uh, that causes the body to increase the level of stem cells, which 
which then stem cells can be recruited to anything in, in case of immune challenge to immune cells. Mm -hmm. All right. The next one is from Mariella. Uh, taking C60 during a fast, how is the best way? Well, the thing about C60, C60 is dissolved in, is, is dissolved in oils. And so if you're on a fast and you want to take C60, uh, probably the best one would be MCT oil because the MCT is going to be turned into ketones, which are going to be immediate fuel for your body. And uh, it, would, it, it doesn't go, the, whereas the avocado and the olive oil takes a longer way to break down. And so that would be, if you wanted to do that, that would be the minimal, uh, the minimal thing you probably take if you want to take C60 during a fast to start, especially if you haven't taken a fast before, it can help break down some of the oxidative radicals that are produced from all the toxins and your fat cells are released as they start burning up, uh, as they start releasing uh, the various triglycerides to help power the body. All right, we're going to do a couple more questions from our newsletter subscribers, and then we're going to move on to the questions in the chat. So definitely get those in there. Um, this next one is from Pascal. He says, hi, Ken, I recently bought a bottle of C60 for pets. Could you tell me if it would benefit my greyhounds in any way? Yes, yeah, C60 for pets does wonders. Uh, and usually what people do is they just put it like in the, the, the in the food. Mm -hmm. Just mix it in there if it's and it really Whether doesn't. Whether it's a dog or cat, you yeah, can just dog or cat. mix it that, right Yeah, in. that's probably the best way. Uh, dry food probably works the best because it's quickly absorbed. But if it's wet, you can just mix it in. And generally, uh, avocado or olive oil are best for pets. Uh, you don't want to use coconut oil with birds. And since coconut oil is with, you know, related to the grass family, it's not actually a nut. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's actually in the grass family. So you know, it, it can be go through dogs and cats a little fast. So you want to avoid doing that. Now, speaking of pets, we got another question. I, <laughs> it took me like an hour to read all these questions, guys. Last night. <laughs> but anyway, I know I remember we had another question uh, asking uh, on the topic of benefits, right? Um, we do have another announcement, our pet page backup, it's live. And there are a lot of really great resources, um, including what the health benefits are, a dosage chart, which oil to use for which type of pet, all of that is there. Um, so I will put the link in the description. But if you go to our homepage, and you look under resources, it's C60. It's like pen pet benefits, C60 benefits for pets or something like that. You'll see it right there. Um, but I am happy to share on the show today. If you guys would like, let us know in the comments. I can share a couple dosage charts with you all, including one for humans and one for pets. Let us know if you want us to pull that up for you. Um, all right, let's move on. We've got one more of the newsletter subscribers. And this one is from Steven, does C60 need to be taken straight or can you add the dose to your morning smoothie? Oh, well, obviously you can add the dose to your morning smoothie. We have it here. Uh, it slows down digestion, but it, it really, it, it'll still get there. So it's, it's not a problem at all, especially if you've never taken an oil before, just mix it with food in the breakfast. It'll be fine. Yeah, if anything, it'll just enhance the energizing experience yeah. of a smoothie, which- Yes, well, yeah, especially. A lot of people, they'll use it in the coffee, so it's yeah. really- so if you do that, or you could even use it in tea. So it works. It, yeah. No matter what you put it in, it works. The only thing we don't recommend is to cook, like to fry stuff in it. Yeah. Uh, cooking Remember, it C60, high, high, high heat. Yeah. C60 is it. carbon. So anything that's going to blacken anything, yeah, it's going to blacken C60. So you don't want to do that. All right. Let's get to some YouTube questions. Christopher says, any new updates on research into C60? Oh, uh, there's always some new stuff coming out. Uh, I don't know if we have any... Uh, yeah, there's there's a bunch new and I'd have to like pull up the file. I'd have to pull up. Maybe we could do that for the next show. But so, uh, yeah, there's constant uh, new excellent research coming yeah. out on the benefits of C60. And remember, the only type of C60 that is beneficial is dissolved yes. molecules of C60, particles of C60, nested buckyball things, supercharged C60. <laughs> Those are all fraudulent things. Yeah, you want you want you just want your you just want your plain naked c60 dissolved c60 molecule because that's in the only oil. thing in oil that's the only thing that's going to bring benefit all the other woo woo and bs that they put out there is really not uh, not real but we will discuss that at another show coming up so let's, well, let let's me, get back to questions let me clarify real quick because you married you married a couple topics 
One is the research studies, which ones are relevant? Mm -hmm. The only ones that are relevant are the singly dissolved molecules in an oil, the fullerene, C60 fullerene molecules, nothing that says particles, nothing that says nanoparticles, nothing that says nanotubes and with other things attached to it. That, that's just, those aren't relevant because that's not the kind of C60 that has been found to be beneficial. So that's number one. Number two, yes, there are some scammers out there in the oh. C60 space, unfortunately, some people are trying to take advantage of the C60 boom, and they their products may or may not even have C60 in them. They may have a very small amount, they may have none. And so really what you need to do is make sure they have certificates of analysis. They need to test by a third party for quality, concentration, bioavailability, and all of that. And they need to provide that to you. Yeah. So and I don't know if you know this, but, sorry, I'm gonna rant here. Okay, go for we it. We have a QR code on all of our packages that takes you right to the coas so you can see the studies the third-party studies that show exactly how much c60 is in our product what the purity level is anything i'm missing there no that should be it. i think okay. uh, the only other thing we need to mention is uh, what you're looking for is 99.9 percent .9 pure c60 and that usually means it's sublimated because you want to get sublimated c60 sublimation is the cousin of evaporation it's when a solid turns to a gas and then back to a solid. So they basically take the C60 in production ashes, put it in the sublimator, heat it up. C60 turns to a gas, floats to the other side of the sublimator where it condenses. And that's how you get 99.99% pure C60. So if you're getting seeing somebody with 99.9% .9 C60 or 99.5% or something, chances are that's all, in fact, it's almost guaranteed that that is a solvent-based C60 which uh, even though they bake it and bake it, there's always a little bit of solvent left and anything like 99.9 .9 or 99.5, the rest of that is solvent, which you really don't want because it's toluene or methylbenzene and no one carcinogen. So you don't want that in your C60. So just look for 99.99% and sublimated C60. Yeah, if, if they, they don't say, say sublimated, don't buy it. If it says it's vacuum oven baked, then you know it. there's it's gonna be some solvent left over. Yeah. Um, one more thing about that I was going to say, oh, definitely go to our research page. So we're limited on what studies we can share. We can't right. share the animal studies anymore, guys. It sucks. But, but you know what? We have human studies. So thankfully, yes. we've got all those on the research page. All those studies uh, at shopc60.com forward slash research are all human studies. They're either done with like live humans or they're done with human mast cells or whatever, but they're all human based. Uh, and those studies are on our research page. So check them out. Um, but yeah, just look for, you know, if you have any questions about a specific study or article or anything, definitely let us know. Send us an email uh, at questions at c60purplepower.com and we'll get back to you on that. Here's one from Naomi. Even though I take C60 first thing in the morning, I cannot sleep at night. So <laughs> I take only three drops. Is that even useful? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's whatever is good for you. Uh... Other things that you can be taking, I, I would say, is uh, there's vitamin B1 and B6. A lot of times if you're deficient in that, then it, it, it kind of prevents the production of, of uh, melatonin. So those two would really help. Uh, help uh, I'm not a medical doctor, can't get medical advice or nutritionist. I'm just saying that's what works for me. Um, I also recommend magnesium oh. uh taking mag if you're taking magnesium and fish oil anyway take it at night because that really helps you sleep i love it and i also take my probiotics at night um let's see oh speaking of probiotics uh christopher says do certain probiotics release hydrogen gas that might be useful in combination with c60 yeah well it's it's well you have to have the right probiotics but it's basically fiber as fibers break down, bacteria break down fibers, they release hydrogen gas. And for some reason, apple fibers seem to be the most efficacious at producing uh, hydrogen gas. So, you know, you're old, the old saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, <laughs> really does have some validity there. Uh, Hamster House says, what <laughs> mechanism exists that you suggest not using C60 with blood thinners? Well, the, the thing is that uh, what C60 does, it, it stores pregnenolone production in the cells. And in the adrenals, uh, pregnenolone can be converted into mineral corticoids, which is which are the ones that regulate uh, blood pressure, and uh, and along with uh, things like the thyroid and the uh, and the hypothalamus pituitary complex. So those hormone levels can rise, and the problem that your blood being thick can go away. And so now, if you're taking a blood thinner and your blood's being made correctly, 
your blood can be too thin. So that's why we always recommend people consult with a doctor before they start taking it and just get more uh, more testing. Got another science question from Christopher. Does C60 enter all cells in all organs in the body? I have seen studies that suggest it gets concentrated in certain organs. What about the brain and heart? Oh, what happens is C60, well, when you first take it, it goes everywhere in the body and gets uptaken in the cells, but it kind of diffuses out slowly. And uh, it, it tends to concentrate in a few uh, organs on the way out, like it goes in the liver, and then the liver will grab the C60, use it for a while, and then excrete it out the bile ducts, you know, in number two. So that's uh, that's kind of where it goes before, because the C6, the liver is the filtering organ, which is good because C60 gets rid of oxidative radicals, and the liver has plenty of them. And it also hangs a bit in the spleen to protect the blood uh, the blood production, and then it moves the liver, and then it goes out. So that's kind of there's kind of like a step down. But when you first take it, it goes everywhere, and then as it goes out, it tends to concentrate in a few organs. Yeah, and it makes sense, really, because if you think about the organs that produce the most oxidative stress, that would probably be the liver. The brain would be really huge. Oh, yeah. That's why uh, de dementia and Alzheimer's, all those things are caused by oxidative inflammation in the brain. Yeah, and, so. and C60 would basically go anywhere where there's a lot of energy production because it's in yes. oil and then it would be hanging mitochondria, out. Mitochondria, where there's tons yeah, of mitochondria, yeah. that's in, where it'll go. And so you're going to, your brain, all the nerve cells, the, the glands, the endocrine system, and of course the muscles, like the heart and other things, any muscle, anything with a lot of mitochondria that uses a lot of energy in your body, well, that's where the C60 is going to go first. Yeah, and it has this funny way of going in and out of the mitochondria <laughs> back and forth to, you know, it, the way it neutralizes stuff, it like... I don't know. I don't want to explain it scientifically, but there's a negative charge and then there's positive charge that so makes it just go back and forth, neutralizing free radicals. And that's really helpful to the mitochondria yes. and energy production. So that, that's why yeah, they hang out there. Yeah, C60 doesn't make any permanent chemical bonds in the body. So it tends to go out in the body. In the half-life is somewhere between four and nine days. They don't, four and 10 days. They don't really, it's somewhere between that. There's a, it's a debate. Different science papers say different things. All right, let's see. Oh, here's a comment from Ji Chin. Thank you both. I will wear a C60 t-shirt. I only wear logos of quality products that make the experience of this journey. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. We're definitely encouraged to do the t-shirt. <clears throat> uh, Deanne says, does C60 get removed by fulvic acid? Taking that for, she's taking that for detox. Should I pause C60? Oh no, fulvic acid will not interact with C60 in any way. C60 only really interacts with two oxidative radicals, that superoxide, that's an oxygen with an extra electron and the hydroxyl ion. C60 virtually doesn't, re it doesn't interact with anything. It doesn't interact with minerals, nutrients, supplements, pharmaceuticals, uh, and it doesn't even interact with other oxidative species in the body, which the body uses signaling molecules. So it won't, ox it won't interact with uh, nitrogen oxides, uh, hydrogen peroxide, and then there's several, a bunch of others based around sulfur and iron and zinc that the body uses as signal molecules. C60 will not interact with all of those. It just interacts with the two most damaging oxidative radicals in the body, superoxide and the hydroxyl ion. Carpe Diem says, I've been taking C60 for six months and definitely notice more energy and better sleep. I've heard you say some people need one tablespoon per day. Currently, I take one teaspoon. Could I see more benefits from one Tablespoon. I noticed my recent batch of avocado seemed darker than the previous. Our oils are all organic. They, uh, the, the different, you get one batch of olive oil, looks different from like another batch of olive oil in different times of the year. They all come to the same place, but they're, yeah, so they, they and the olive, avocado oil the same way. Sometimes it's darker, sometimes it's lighter when we get it. And then we add the C60, which is kind of, which is purple colored. So when you add purple with tan, it makes it darker. So, um, can it's, we have oh, to, yes. we have to, oh, oh yeah, I'm sharing good? a screen. This is the dosage chart. Can we see it or yeah, they can, they see, can it. see it. Okay. Oh, great, great. Yeah. So if you, you can kind of see there that, uh, basically, uh, if you're, it's based on weight yeah, and two TSP means teaspoons. And, and so T teaspoons is the same as a tablespoon, three teaspoons, three teaspoons. Okay. Three same. teaspoons is a tablespoon. So, so basically, uh, like for me, this is, uh, I'm, I weigh about 180, but I'm also 60 years old. So I take like a tablespoon a day. And, uh, and so if you get, the thing is basically it's, it's, it's weight and age. And so the older 
you are, you probably just jump up one, uh, one notch on this chart. Yeah, so if you look at, we've got beginner dose, maintenance dose, and performance dose. So performance dose would be for anyone that's dealing with a major health condition or they're older, or they're, they're, um, they're dealing with you know old age or they're dealing with something that's more challenging, they might wanna do the performance dose. And of course, any athlete might wanna do the performance dose because they're, they're not just taking it to maintain, but they're actually taking it to enhance performance. So- yeah. And the one for athletes, we have a, a little uh, a pointer. What we have people do is they have, at, you know, they have support troop people, you know, they give out water and stuff. So they give out water with the MCT coconut oil in it, C60 and MCT coconut oil with the hydrogen water and uh and that's like a super boost because the mct turns is turned into ketones by your liver instantly so that's a super energy source c60 keeps the lactic acid level down and of course the hydrogen water enhances everything along with the water which you need anyway so that's just a little uh, a tip for athletes if you want to maximize performance and competition so we have a little correction on something that we said about uh c60 and birds Actually, birds should not have avocado oil. Yeah, birds should not have avocado oil. That's right. Yes. Birds and, and avocado. Dogs oil. should not have MCT if you don't want them yeah, to grow up. Yeah, they might <laughs> yeah, they might, yeah. Because it's like MCTs in the in the grass family. Yeah. Birds right. should not have avocado oil. Yes. And again, for clarification, you can go to our C sixty pen of pet benefits page. Yeah, anything that eats that. grass does well with the MCT coconut oil because it's uh it, MCT is in or coconuts in the grass family. Traveler says, I have a friend, yes, really, <laughs> on an antidepressant called bupropion. How will C60 help her detox from the drug or get off totally or work in combination with bupropion? <laughs> well, one of the things is C60 won't interfere with the drug directly, but a lot of drugs like that when they break down is they cause oxidative radicals, especially mm -hmm. powerful oxidative radicals. And that's and the same with a lot of other drugs. And so if you have C60 in it, C60 can neutralize those drugs. I mean, neutralize the oxidative radicals those drugs produce. And support the liver. Yeah, exactly. The liver yeah. Has to a lot of people out. taking certain uh, uh, you know, certain powerful drugs for certain conditions we can't mention find that if they take C60, it, it actually enhances the effectiveness of that drug pharmaceutical, but it uh, it totally eliminates the downstream uh, problems. So, you know, like you don't get effect. nausea and you don't lose your hair and things like that. But that's usually at about a... Uh, that's at least like two tablespoons or a shot glass a day. So that's, uh, that's yeah, a big Yeah, if dose. you're taking any pharmaceutical, you really need to support your liver Yeah, because it works overtime to get rid of all those drug residues. And, so avoid yeah. anything beyond those pharmaceuticals that would do damage to your liver, yeah, alcohol, so, yeah. smoking, all of those other things that would cause even more oxidative free radicals. What are healthy oils? Can I take C60? Like, why can I take C60 and sunflower oil? Oh, okay, well, let's talk about that. Uh, we, we've kind of picked the Goldilocks of oils. And so there are some oils which, you know, have a really long shelf life, but they have a really high omega-6 level, which causes them to be inflammatory. So sunflower oil, canola oil, soybean oil, uh, corn oil, they all fall in that category. So they're actually, now the sunflower seeds are perfectly fine for you. But the refined oil isn't because it's so high in omega-6s that it's inflammatory. So it'll cause inflammation in your body. So you don't want to do that. And, uh, and that's why, on the other hand, there's oils that are really good for you because they have a high omega-6. Uh, omega-3. Oh, my, sorry, omega-3 levels. And the omega-3 levels, you know, they're balanced. But the things like hemp oil, fish oil, and a flaxseed oil, they go rancid really fast. So if we were to put it in a bottle and send it to you, you know, the chances are it would go rancid. And that's why you should always buy like your fish oils from the refrigerated section of your, of your health food store because you don't know how long the fish oil's been on that shelf and it could be rancid and rancid oil is bad for you. So we picked the Goldilocks selection of oils. And that's oils that have a really good omega-3 to omega-6 balance. So they're healthy for you and anti-inflammatory but they have a nice shelf life. And so the, the Goldilocks kind of zone is olive oil, of course, which people have been using for thousands of years. There is the, uh, the, uh, the, I guess, Mediterranean diet, it's well known. And we know all about that. And then there's the, uh, and then of course we picked avocado oil. I found that because avocado oil is really healthy for you. It has a really good fat profile. 
or oil profile in it that and it, easy to digest and it uh, it's not quite as as God has the bite of olive oil which can go through some people because of the excessive phenol levels in olive oil and then there's MCT coconut oil which uh, which of course is a distillate of regular coconut oil and of course that's turned into tri the triglycerides and MCT coconut oil are turned into ketones in your liver and that's like a flex fuel for your body so if you've got any glucose processing issues or uh, or athlete that's uh, that's kind of the oil that you want one more thing about oils if you've ever done an elimination diet you have to eliminate anything that's like allergenic and seed oils are notorious for you know you may not even realize that you're allergic to seed oil you might be sensitive to it and it might be causing inflammation just for that reason alone not not alone not not to mention the C's, the omega-6s right so all of these oils were allowed on my elimination diet. So that's great. That means they're not allergenic for most people. Yeah, yeah, seed oils are great for birds, but uh, mammals aren't so well designed to digest them. Hi guys, I started taking your product a week ago and started noticing a difference by day two. Your product is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Yes. Uh, Traveler says, oh, I know Traveler, welcome back. Uh, is there ever a case where I might need to take three tea three tablespoons or more a day instead of the two I'm taking now as I haven't seen any kind of difference so far after three years oh well it's uh yeah, well you it's uh it doesn't matter how big are you how strong are you that's I mean that's kind of how and how old are you as you get older or you're bigger you need more and a lot of times people don't notice the benefits of C60 until they until they stop taking it. Yeah, so and then stop taking those, it. Yeah, because you don't <laughs> notice it when those little aches and pains go away. Yes. I'm just not having any aches and pains. I'm just not having a, like a, a crash after I do lunch. I'm just not having that. And then when people stop taking it, about a week later, they say, whoa, what's this stuff? You know, it all comes back. So a lot of times people notice that uh, they don't, uh, they just, when you, when some pain or ache goes away, they don't notice it. When you stop taking C60, then you notice it comes back. But not to paint the picture that stopping C60 takes away all the benefits you've gained, because mm -hmm. that's not the truth, actually. No, if you're... because the C60 actually helps your body restore and rebuild, you know, the tissues and everything in your body, and it helps get rid of the senescent cells. It does so much that even if you stop taking it, you're still going to have those benefits for yeah. a while. Yeah, and, and benefits come on like after three years, people see a uh, increase in average telomere length and stuff but so there's an you know your body rebuilds itself seven every seven years so when, sure. you, when you're on that cycle the c60 helps rebuild it so the proteins get built the neurotransmitters get built the 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 other thing oh no oh by the way that's another thing you don't want to do is uh especially with those hydrogenated oils oh right you don't trans want and the, yeah the trans fats because they can actually get in, integrated into your cellular membranes and and they cause all kinds of havoc with the uh with the various sorts of ports and uh, gated channels because they're not designed right. So yeah, definitely right. stay away from any hydrogen, hydrogenated oils. They or, can definitely cause leaky gut, leaky brain, all kinds of things. Yeah, of that. yeah that's, that's another warning that, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. If, basically, if you're reading the side of the food panel and you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't be eating it. But <laughs> I, I challenge you to get a little scientific here. You may think you're not getting benefits, but if you did a telomere test, and let's say you found out that your biological age was a little bit younger than you are, then you might know that you might be getting some benefit. We yep. don't know if it's from the C60, but there might be a chance. You can also do a test for your your oxidative stress levels. And that's, that's usually the aldehyde test. And what that is, is when oxidative radicals break down cellular membranes or mitochondria membranes, they produce aldehydes which the body really can't process. And so they go into the blood and so, and then they come out in the urine. And, uh, and if you measure that, the aldehyde levels that way, it's a urine test. And then uh, you, can, uh, you can get immediate results. So you can like before and after taking C60, you can, you can definitely see it. In almost within two days, let's, you will see a huge difference. Let's do a little experiment. Okay, anyone on the show that hasn't tried C60 yet, you can get one of these either telomere tests or, or oxidative stress level tests uh, to find out. And you can also do tests on infl infl inflammatory markers like the C-reactive protein or whatever it's called. Um, do a test before, then start taking C60. And we'll say like 60 days later, do another test. 
Yes, and if we'll you've do been, our own research, guys. <laughs> yes, and if you've been taking like uh, blood panels anyway, you'll you should have, be able to see those markers change uh, if you if your doctor's been taking blood tests. If usually it happens if you're older. And let us know your results. I didn't do the before test, so I can't really do the test. Although I have taken some tests that show that my my age is younger than I am, which is cool. Um, but yeah, we'd love to know your results. So let us know. <clears throat> Christopher again says, I'm giving C60 to my 82 year old dad. Will it make him feel bad when he first starts taking it? Uh, generally, you want to start slow and move up. There can be a little detox in that, uh, especially if they've got mercury, mouth metal, you know, it, it, people tend, a lot of times they'll tend to get like a little metallic taste in their mouth when they first take C60, because C60 dislodges inorganic mercury hiding out in the body and it also turns mercury hydroxide into mercury oxide which the body can grab and eliminate so so it makes it inactive so that it yeah. can't actually react or cause damage yeah so right? and then the, and that's true with a lot of the uh, heavy metals and then they clear out clear out after several days and then you start seeing the benefits but start slowly you know start with like a quarter teaspoon and then go to a half a teaspoon and then maybe a full teaspoon and at 82 he's probably going to be needing to take a tablespoon a day at mm. least Definitely. Um, but you know, if he if he's taking a tablespoon a day and he can't sleep or he feels like super energized, that's probably a good thing. But some people don't yeah. want to feel energized yeah. at midnight. So that means you yeah, want to back take, off yeah. a little bit. Just take it in the morning. That's uh, yeah. yeah, at 82 years old, they probably won't have those problems. Yeah, I sleep they've got really such well, an oxidative so no burden. problem with it. Yeah, they'll, but once they get it done. Yeah, yeah sometimes yeah, taking that, a large dose can do that for sure. Um, I don't measure my dose actually. Mm -hmm. I just take the bottle and chug. So for all the people that have the problem <laughs> with the drippy thing, there's a solution. Take the bottle and chug. Perfect. Yeah. Um, all right. Dave says, I was given Remdexir just last June and I'm still having effects presently. How does C60 line up with poison? Uh, what C60 does is, is those toxins are uh, hiding out in your body tissues. And as they come out, they basically, as they break down, they produce oxidative radicals. C60 neutralizes those oxidative radicals before they can do damage. Now, things you can do to help flush that stuff out is basically fasting. So if you do, like I do intermittent fasting, which is like fasting every day, but if you were to do a serious, you know, two or three day fast, it would flush a lot of that stuff out. And you just have to make sure you drink a lot of water and uh, do other detox uh, protocols. But uh, yeah, that's fasting is probably the best way to get a lot of that junk out of your body. Uh, Kitty D. Winter says, does C60 react or get inactivated by any of the following? MSM, nano zeolite, mega hydrate, phenomenal water. No, uh, well, the thing is with zeolites though, you don't want to take C60 with zeolites because zeolites are basically a big absorbent surface. So they'll absorb the oil, which carries the C60 into them and then you now the c60 goes out it's the same with activated charcoal you shouldn't take c60 with activated charcoal because the activated charcoal will grab the oil that's holding the c60 and it'll just go out of your body so you know you take the c60 in the morning and take the zeolite in the afternoon because by then the c60 has been digested and delivered to the cells so just and and, and see you want to don't want to take c60 in the afternoon so that that would be a way just separate the taking the rest of them c60 won't interact with at all Carby DM says, I have GERDs, which is gastroesophageal oh, okay. oh, uh, yes. reflux disease. And my doctor said to stay away from magnesium, zinc, and niacin as they can burn. Do you have thoughts on how I can still get those without the stomach issues? Sorry, this is not C60 related. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, liposomal would probably be the way to go. If you could get or, anything that's liposomally delivered, that tends to go right through the digestive system. And so it won't interact with uh, your esophagus area that's being that way. Uh, there are foods high in magnesium. Yes, Nut, that would be the best Nuts way. and seeds, Brazil nuts are really high in magnesium. For the zinc, uh, definitely, um, I don't know if you eat seafood, but oysters are a great source of yes. zinc. <laughs> but just do a Google search and find out what foods naturally have those things and just make sure you're incorporating because some foods have a much like bigger amount of these uh, essential nutrients than you would realize. And like, if you want to get your daily dose of magnesium, for instance, I don't want, don't know what the calculation is, but I think if you eat like six Brazil nuts, you're good. So just yeah, so, check on that. Yeah, six Brazil exactly. nuts is easy to take. It might not even be six. It might be less, but they but, have a uh, ton of magnesium. Yeah. And, and seafood is always good because it has, seafood has a lot of the micro minerals in it. 
that you just need like a little bit of uh, chromium or a little bit of manganese or something to do certain enzymic things and seafood. Of course, the ocean is full of that. So and you always want to eat lower in the food chain because of all the toxins people have put in the ocean. So things like uh, oysters or mussels or sardines are always better than, let's say, things like tuna fish, because tuna fish eats lots of other fish that eats lots. They're of higher fish. up on the food. Yeah, chain. Yeah, they're higher right? on the food chain. So the lower you on the food chain you are, the better it is, uh, better you don't have you avoid the toxins that are in coastal areas. Area 859 says, glad you guys are doing these Q&As on C60. Your videos are great. Hope these videos continue. Yeah. C60 has been life-changing for me. Hashtag one love. I uh, love it. Thank you so much for the good vibes. We so appreciate it. One love. Carpe Diem says, I'm thinking of using my C60 as a pre-workout since it does seem to give an energy boost. Yes, it does. Yes. Yeah, it'll do that. Not as much with avocado or olive oil, but it Wait, still does. Wait, let me does. finish the question. How soon would I want to take it before my morning workout to see the max energy? Uh, I've, I've it, tried this okay, before. Okay, I'll let you do it. Okay, so I sometimes go to this hot yoga class that makes me feel like I'm going to faint because it's really, really hot and sweaty and crazy. But I notice if I do my C60 and a little bit of electrolytes before the class, I'm on fire. I'm ready to go. So I just go, I just, right before I leave my house with my mat and everything else I need for yoga, I take a little dose and I'm good to go. So definitely try that. Um, <laughs> Traveler says, this has been the best C60 show ever. Thanks, Ken and Sierra. Thank you, Traveler. Mm -hmm. So glad that you're here. Thank you for everyone being here. We were only planning on doing 30 minutes, but oh. we really, really wanted to answer as many questions as we could. So we're going to wrap it up here. But um, oh. if you have any more questions that you're dying to ask, let us know in the chat. If you are watching the replay, let us know in the comments if you have any questions and we'd be happy to answer those after the show. All right, one last question. Area 859, is C60 okay to stack with other things like NMN, NMN, uh, That's which fine. Is, yeah, per Dr. Sinclair's protocols for anti-aging. I think yes. Dr. Sinclair is the one that did the video about the apple cider vinegar, by yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, molecular hydrogen tablets. That's fine. Iodine, That's et cetera. Fine. Anything that may not work synergistically with C60? Yeah, the only thing is like the zeolites or like a big fiber intake because the oil tends to stick to zeolites and the oil tends to stick to fibers. So then, you know, if, if the oil sticks to that, the C60s in the oil, you don't get the benefits. So just make sure you take your fibers and your zeolites or stuff like that, absorptive stuff, or the activative charcoal, uh, you know, hour, four or five hours after you've taken your C60, because by then it'll be digested and spread to the body. And, you know, things like activated charcoal and zeolites, they don't really make it past the gut. And so, and fiber, they all don't make it past the gut. So they're in the gut. So you just don't have it don't have them there when you're taking the c60 and you won't have any problem so thank you so much for tuning in today if you enjoyed our show please please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends yep and if you'd like to try some c60 for yourself just visit c60purplepower.com and remember to use the coupon code the c60 show for 10 percent off now you may have noticed our new domain change actually and i, I need to revise oh, our little <laughs> script here but yes it's it is shop c60.com now so it's the same yeah same, we're still that's still us but we've changed the domain to shop c60.com and if you're watching us on youtube today please make sure you subscribe to our channel click that bell icon to get a notification every time we upload something new well thank you everyone for your questions and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you on our next show. We'll let you know what that is. See you next time.